What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City match review. Today we're going to be doing the match review of the game between Manchester City and Wickham Wanderers in the Carabao Cup third round which has seen Manchester City go through by six goals to one and all the headlines are about Joshua uh, Wilson, Esperand or JWE as he's being referred to and we will speak about him and the other young players in plenty of detail in this video but before I crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content you want to help to support my channel then do subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 21k subscribers so any help towards that will be much appreciated also don't forget social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well of what you made of this performance from Manchester City as we go through to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup as the, uh, as the Kings of the Carabao are back once more. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And lastly, this video is sponsored and it's brought to you by Manscaped.com. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped provide the best tools, equipment and liquids for every body part. They have been kind enough to send me the new Lawnmower 4.0. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a cordless trimmer with a wireless charging system, providing 90 minutes on one full charge on the lithium-ion battery. The trimmer has LED lights on the front to show battery life and also on the trimmer for a more precise shave. Ceramic blades with skin-safe technology are provided provided to help reduce nicks and cuts. Four trimmer guard options are also available to customise your hair length. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is waterproof, allowing for easy cleanup. A new travel lock feature is built in to prevent vibrations whilst on the go. So come and join me and 2 million other men worldwide who trust Manscaped when it comes to keeping yourself clean and tidy. Use code JSGC20 for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Thank you very much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. It is much appreciated. If you want to go and check out Manscaped and get yourself 20% off using code JSGC20 at checkout, then that will be much appreciated. You get access to free shipping as well worldwide, which is fantastic. So do go and check that out. That would be much appreciated. It does help support the future content created here on my channel. Without further ado, though, let's crack on with this video as Manchester City make it to the fourth round once more and looking to become five times consecutive champions of the EFL Cup, of the League Cup. That's what we're competing for. We've already got four in a row. We're competing to get five. And I was quite worried, uh, to uh, to be honest, to, uh, to start uh, with this game because we went 1-0 behind. Pretty flat start from Manchester City on, on 22 minutes. We were punished. Hanlon was there, waiting in the right place at the right time to follow it in. The ball gets cut back across. City caught napping and it's put into the back of the net and uh, Manchester City shell-shocked. Like I said... Very flat from Manchester City, needing to grind through the gears and get through the gears and really sort themselves out, so to speak. Wickham, to me, first 20 minutes, deserved their lead. And on the 22nd minute, they've managed to get that through Hanlon. And uh, Manchester City were rightfully punished with that. Uh, and so Manchester City needed to pull their finger out. And that is exactly what City ended up doing. Kevin De Bruyne getting himself a goal with a lovely assist from Phil Foden. Uh, Riyad Mahrez giving Manchester City the lead just before half-time with a good tidy finish. And then Phil Foden with an exquisite finish right on half-time to give Manchester City a 3-1 lead. Uh, and was, you know... You got the sense of that was Manchester City going through and that was enough and it kind of taken the sting away from the game but what was really good is City didn't coast, City didn't uh, back away in the second half, Manchester City carried on pushing and managed to get a few more goals, um, Ferran Torres getting himself a goal, Riyad Mahrez getting himself a brace as well as uh, Cole Palmer got himself a lovely individual goal uh, as well when he came on for Manchester City which has ensured that City now go through to the fourth round uh, of the Carabao Cup. So what I want to do now, uh, now that we've gone through the uh, review of what's happened with the game, is really wanted to uh, analyse. So we'll start with the Stat City with 26 shots, 14 on target and 6 goals, which is much better uh, considering our game against Southampton where we struggled and only had one shot on target, having 14 shots on target in this game. With so many changes that we've made as well and uh, you know scoring 6 goals from them 14 as well is really good from uh, for Manchester City. So that's always a, a nice big bonus there. Uh, and also having nearly 80% possession as well, considering we've made so many changes, was uh, really, really pleasing for uh, for Manchester City, in my complete honest opinion. But Wickham, 21% possession, 12 shots, 4 on target, got themselves a goal. 
I can't say fairer than that. They're, the fans and the players, they dreamed for seven minutes from the 22nd to the 29th minute of Man City finding their equaliser through Kevin De Bruyne. And City have had to go with a strong midfield and attack to, to get through Wickham and ensure that we do go through here. So Wickham gave a good scout, gave a good account for themselves. They made some changes as well. Players like Daryl Hogg and Sam Vokes that I spoke about in my preview didn't even start in this game. Uh, they went with Akin Fenwar up top as well. Uh, cult hero there at uh, Wickham as well. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, that's uh, ensured that uh, Wickham gave a good account of themselves. And I want to sit here and I want to say the very best of luck to Wickham and I wish them all the best for the rest of the season. Now, the only other thing really to talk about other than City going through into the fourth round, really, is to uh, break down and have a look at some of the players that did play in this game. Now, I'm going to presume the large majority of the players that played in this game probably aren't going to be playing against Chelsea. But Zach Steffen thought to look very comfortable and confident, considering he's just spent 10 days in America isolating from COVID. He's come back to England, come straight into the starting 11, made a couple of really good saves as well. Unlucky to not get his clean sheet, but there we go. But Zach Steffen, nice to have him back at Manchester City. Uh, I thought Comrade Egan Riley was pretty impressive for Manchester City on the right-hand side. Finley Burns and Luke Mbete as well certainly did themselves no disgrace here. I thought Luke Mbete uh, was uh, uh, fairly decent in this game as well. So I'm excited to see more of these young players. Uh, Joshua Wilson, Esperin, like I said, we will speak about him more in just one moment. But Romeo Levea, he did get himself a yellow card, but don't all defensive midfielders. Thought he had a good game for City. Phil Foden had a wonderful game for City. Very close to getting my JSGC man of the match. Nice to see De Bruyne as well making things happen. Raheem Sterling... It's not his most impressive performance for Manchester City. Um, I'm always going to back Raheem Sterling because I think he's a fantastic football player. And I'm hoping that he can really break past this little barren spell that he's on for City and really turn his fortunes around. He's fantastic for England. He has the quality. Um, it wasn't really there in this game, but I want it to be. I want him to succeed. I want him to do well. I don't know how that happens, but I want it. I want it... More than lots of other things, let's put it that way. Uh, Ferran Torres got himself a goal as well. I'm surprised he started in this game. I'd have started Liam Delap, but City obviously deemed Liam Delap to be uh, fit enough to be doing uh, with the EDS side in the match against Doncaster in the uh, in the EFL um, trophy. The uh, what is it? The Papa John's trophy, I think it's called now. Um, I was going to call it the Checker Trade Trophy. I think it's the Papa John's Trophy now where City lost against Doncaster and Liam Delap was playing in that instead. But I'd rather he'd started in this game, but I presume due to him being injured for a couple of months, uh, he's, he's been given the nod there rather than uh, brushing him back too soon and putting him in the uh, senior team. So there we go. And Riyad Mahrez getting himself a couple of goals. He's my JSGC man of the match, showing his quality there. And doing himself no harm in the next three big games coming up against Chelsea, PSG and Liverpool that uh, he may well be getting some starts and minutes in then games. Right, so I just want to spend uh, just a little minute speaking about Joshua Wilson S. Brand. He had a wonderful performance from Manchester City. He's taken all the plaudits away from this game. So let's speak about him. We're probably not going to see Benjamin Mendy ever again in a Manchester City shirt. We're down a left back. We've got ourselves a good quality left back in Joshua Wilson S. Brand that could definitely do a job for Manchester City. And what I would like to see uh, after this game against Wickham is over the next few weeks, um, in the next, what, five or six games, see Wilson S. Brand making the bench. And if City are going through the formalities of a game, 2 3 nil up, give him little cameos, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, 15 minutes here, 25 minutes there, and build up some minutes and really get a taste of him in the first team squad. Because I'm confident that with Wilson Esbrand um, standing next to John Stones or a Ruben Diaz or an Americ Laporte and he's got players like uh, Rodri around him and Phil Foden and De Bruyne like he did in this game, I feel like it'll really bring out the best in Wilson Esbrand and it'll really show us what he is capable of. And I think that is what City needs to do. Not just with him, but with some other good players, uh, young quality players as well. James McAtee is another player that excites me. I think he's a fantastic player. But Cole Palmer as well. These are young quality players that they, they make the bench every now and then, but to me, they should be they should be getting minutes. They should be getting starts for Manchester City. And, and to me, this is where City can improve with young players. 
we have the potential of City not signing a left back until their su uh, next summer. So we've got ourselves, we've no Benjamin Mendy, uh, we're a left back down, we've got ourselves a high quality young player there. Go and give him starts, go and give him minutes, see what he can do. Really test the young players, really give them a test, show what they can do. Because I'm sure they'll grab these opportunities with both hands. I'm not talking just mediocre uh, players that we'll never see for Manchester City again, I'm talking top quality, high quality young players for Manchester City. You do not make it to the Manchester City first team for a League Cup match from our academy unless you are an exceptional talent. That's the amount of work and dedication that goes into uh, the making it as a young player at Manchester City. And to me, I think Joshua Wilson Esbrand has all the qualities to make it as a successful player. We need a left back just found you a fantastic solution i think he's showcased that in this game and i'm hoping now uh, that as the reward for these quality performances is that we start to see more of him around the first team not just training with them not just making the bench every now and then but actually coming off the bench actually starting in games seeing him in premier league games and champions league games really give these young players a proper test because the good they showed it in this game they showed that they are fantastic football players so let's go and test them. Let's see what they can do. But Wilson S. Brand, salute to you. Fantastic performance against Wickham. And excited to see what the future does hold. But not just him. All the young players there all gave a good account of themselves. So kudos to them. With Manchester City, we go through to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Can we win it five times consecutively? Let's go for it. The draw will be later on today after uh, all the games have finished uh, for the Carabao Cup third round is when the draw will be. And we'll find out who City get in the next round. So there we go. That's been the video. Thank you for watching the video. It is much appreciated. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts on what you made of this victory in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. And also go and check out my social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And lastly, go and check out today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video. Go and get yourself 20% off using code JSGC20 at checkout. That'll get you 20% off and free shipping. Go and get yourself all the latest male grooming stuff, including the new lawnmower 4.0, which Manscaped were very kind enough to send to me and I can vouch that it is a high quality trimmer for everybody to enjoy. So I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video. I've been JSGC. I hope everybody's safe and well. Thank you everybody for watching. Keep an eye out for Joshua Wilson Esbrand. Future is bright. The future is blue. I've been JSGC. Thanks for watching. Peace. Ciao for now.